Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the Archie Luxury Channel. And today I'd like to highlight two Batmans. That's right, the Battle of the Batmans. Na 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 Batman. That's right, fuckers. I'd like to show you two Batmans. Now these watches are called Batmans because of the blue and black rotating bezel. And Rolex very, very skillfully released two versions of its new GMT. The black on black on black and the Batman. The Batman sells for a premium, which I can't quite work out as the production costs would be very similar. But anyhow, the Batman itself is highly in demand. This is the Rolex Batman. And I got to tell you, it's a stunning watch. The only problem is, is it's uh, damn expensive. It is expensive. And it's going for a premium on the used market. That's how cool the Batman is. Now, I don't want to hark on about this watch, but the, the Rolex Batman, I'll tell you the truth. This is the watch that Archie Luxury, this is the watch that convinced Archie that ceramic is cool. And uh, I got to tell you, if someone said to me, if I was in the Rolex boutique and they said, Archie, Archie, we love your program. You can pick any steel sports watch. Naturally, I'd say Daytona, but naturally the store would say, I'm sorry, sir, we've run out of Daytonas. Then I would pick the Batman, the Batman. And uh, for good reason. This is such a cool watch. Now... I want to mention another watch that I recently checked out, which has really, really impressed me. Now, this watch here is a fraction of the Batman price. That's right, the Rolex, the fraction of the Rolex Batman price. And I got to tell you, this watch here really, really impressed me. It's a cool watch. What is it? It's the Tag Heuer Formula One GMT Batman. And uh, sure, <coughs> comparing the two, the Rolex does have the edge. I mean, the uh, but let's just compare the two. They're both steel, steel sports watches with a uh, automatic movement date and rotating bezel. However, however, the Tag Heuer Formula One is a fraction of the price. So you can have the Batman look for a quarter, less than a quarter of the Rolex price. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, that is good buying. And, you know, comparing the two, which one do I prefer? Well, if I had a choice of the two, naturally, I'd take the Rolex. But if I was using my own coin and I really wanted a cool, trendy GMT function watch for a limited budget, well, two and a half thousand, that's still a lot of coin in my book. Well, in anyone's book. I reckon this Formula One is an absolute winner. It's a cracker of a piece. And the, the interesting thing is, yes, the Rolex is better, in my opinion, but it's four times the price. The fact that we're mentioning both of these watches in the same sentence just shows you how heavy-hitting the Tag Heuer Formula One GMT is. 
It's a heavy hitting sports watch. And I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. Is it so much lesser than the Rolex? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. And uh, I just wanted to highlight this on the channel. The two Batmans. What do you fuckers think of that? What do you think, fuckers? The Tag Heuer Formula One GMT and the Rolex, the Rolex Ceramic GMT Batman. What do you think? What do you think? I'd like to hear the audience's opinion. What do you think of these two watches? And I got to tell you, if you're a young man in your 20s, I reckon the tag could fulfill the need beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great comparison.